Y'all already know what it is. Salute the salute. It's all the big bros. What the real kings. What the real lions. What the real gentle giants. Real niggas do real things all the time. Fake niggas only do real shit when real niggas is watching. Let that shit sink in. Real niggas do real shit all the time. Fake niggas only do real shit when real niggas is watching. Let it marinate. Salute to all my real generals out there. Salute to all my real niggas out there. Appreciate all the love and support I'm getting. I'm not going to get into a lot of the questions that was asked today. Because, to be honest with you, on Sundays I was going to take that day off. I was going to be like, you know, that was a day that I was going to relax day. Still got shit that I got to take care of, you feel me? So I'm going to do that. But I had to do this first. Because, you know, people put me on to other people now talking about me on YouTube, right? Indirect shit, though. You know, once upon a time, I used to be one of them individuals. If you hit me with the alley-oop, I'm going to snatch it. You know, petty motherfucker, you know? You hear people saying shit, and you're not even trying to start nothing. But what I would say is this, right? I will say this, in response to what I heard from this particular YouTuber that's been doing this thing, I guess, for a while, you know? I'm new to this. I'm a baby. That's, that's, that's a fact. And which leads me into saying this. With everything in life comes growth. That's just a fact. And when I say that, I mean this. When somebody first becomes a father, that's a learning experience. You grow into that. Most people become fathers, they're not prepared for it. They're not ready to be fathers. Most of them are just boys. They're not even men. So with that, you grow into it. You grow into the role. And that is growth. When you start a new job, start a new hustle, You start off somewhere. Mostly, we always start at the bottom, right? Don't we all start at the bottom? Not everybody gets handouts of favors that can start at a different level. Most of us, we start at the bottom. You hustle it. First time hustling. You start at the bottom. Then what happens? you good at it, growth takes place. It leads to different avenues. In certain situations, you can branch off and do other things. I've never been a social media type nigga. I got a gram, I got a book. All I got is like family on there, really. And then... I don't really post shit. I post, used to post food. I never was a social media nigga. Like, I never was one that was always posting everything and anything that I was doing. To this day, I'm really not doing that. It just wasn't me. It's not me. You know? I just wasn't. When I came home, the shit was already, you know, not full-fledged. Because I got out in 2000 and 
10, but it was already, the balls was rolling, it was gone. And I had jump on that wave. So, with you two, first time doing my first video, the content was in reference to other particular videos that I saw in response to their content. So, I'm seeing other people's content and what they posting on their blogs. And what I did was respond to that. Made a video giving my perspective on their content and putting it into its proper context. You follow? So, that's what I did initially. That's how I started. I was in my feelings, yes. I was seeing a lot of shit and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? Why is it that all I'm seeing is all these homies from all over New York City, all these big homies supposed to be from New York, all over New York City. And I ain't seeing no bros. And then the bros that do choose no disrespect, but it's like, really? And then at the same time, I guess I get it because some kings we move a little different. You know what I mean? And, you know, I wasn't aware of the fact that there was an avenue, there is a door that was opened for bros. In all fairness, you know, ignorance is bliss. I guess you could say I was, I'm ignorant to the YouTubers. <laughs> I didn't know it was like, once person say that's just a rat. It's like, at the end of the day, there's, I didn't know there was rules of this. There's, there's unwritten rules. You only could give one perspective, one narrative, one type of way. No, all right. So there only could be two narratives. And two people giving two perspectives or one person speaking for one large group. And then you got a whole bunch of other people speaking for the opposite group. And just one or two over here. Nah. I don't think that's how it goes. I feel that every lion out there, every man, king, affiliated, not affiliated, blood, crip, fuck we... If you got, if you could have the opportunity on any platform to let your truth be told, let your story be heard, do it. I'm not worried about rehatching any old wounds from any of these old. I'm not worried. That's cool. What? This is gonna start going to war again because. Real motherfuckers or people like me, who I consider myself a real individual, yeah, ain't, I, I feel I'm far from fake. I'm smart, far from stupid. I pay my bills. I know how to handle myself. I know how to articulate myself depending on where I'm at. This is some street shit, so I'm on some street shit. But this is who I, is, who I am, 100%. And... This is for those people that want to hear that. Not everybody wants to just hear it told one certain type of way. Am I a little bit aggressive when I speak? Yes. Am I a little animated when I speak? Yes. Am I lying? No. No. Never will. I put my shit into its proper context. Feel me? And I'm saying shit that I lived through. And I wish a motherfucker would call me a liar. Yeah, I, I got receipts. I can't sit here and say, yo, I still got tickets from all the fucking bullshit and fractions and niggas that I, incidents that I had in jail with motherfuckers. But that's that I used to do stupid shit like that. But damn, who I'm not holding on to shit like that. Let's let's be real, like damn. And any nigga my age still holding on to tickets from Rikers Island upstate, y'all <laughs> niggas is wild. Y'all wild. <clears throat> I used to do that shit because I thought it was cool to show and prove what I did 
Because I thought that shit was, those were accolades. Yeah, look, I shot this nigga, look what he did. Y'all did this to this person, look at what he did. I got the tickets, look, yeah, I ain't never fucking cooperate. Like, we used to keep that. Black and white, facts. But, come on. Once it's eventually, like, you grow up, you know, just because you hear the bass in my voice, I do speak like this, but guess what? I also take care of business, being the way that I am. I've been a free man since 2010. That's when I got released. 2010, we're in 2020. I'm doing very well for somebody that has been home that amount of time, for somebody that has been affiliated for so many years, for somebody that went through a lot of shit, started from the bottom. I'm not saying I'm at the top, but the shit ain't moving. I'm not moving backwards. Don't get it twisted. I get it. Certain people been doing this for a little while. They hearing people do videos, and the same people that be watching you are fucking with me now. And you want some like, damn, why do I have to address this again? I addressed it already. Why? Because people still want to hear that shit, man. You don't want to play to that? You don't have to. Why? Do what you doing. Nothing but love and respect. I ain't going to bump heads with nobody on here. Y'all ain't going to never hear me beef with no YouTuber because I'm not a YouTuber. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I am on here, but I'm just on here kicking it, keeping it real, niggas. Won't give me the labels of YouTube, fine, fuck it. It is what it is. I guess I am. Man. But I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I ain't never going to lie. I'm not going to be in here freestyling. This ain't Freestyle Friday. I wasn't even going to do nothing on Sunday. You know? But I talked to a couple of my confidants. They hit me up talking about they was hearing stuff. You know? And shout out to all the love that I'm getting. As far as all the questions and the comments, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get into all that. Y'all was asking about the Nietas and it was a, a lot of um, the Magoo shit came up again. I mean, real quick, 2.5 seconds. I ain't never say that nigga was my man. I say I know him. I ain't never say he was my man. Ever, 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 never. Check them. Do your homework. Never say he was my man. But at the end of the, fact, at the, end of the day, yes. They crossed paths with the motherfucker more than once. And let me detail this also. When I speak of Rikers Island, I'm speaking from 1996, 1997, 1998. After that, then it's 2000, 2001, all the way from 2000 all the way to fucking 2010 when I got released. So those are all the years you can calculate. Of real life shit situations with more than just the bloods, but yes, obviously, also, especially 96, 97, 98. Put it in context, it's proper context, you feel me? Because I don't want motherfuckers to get things misconstrued. Not everybody does meet everybody, even though it's because it's thousands of people in and out the island, and the island is huge, you know. So I could admit that maybe dudes are saying shit that they saying that I ain't see. But I'm telling y'all when I seen this shit where I was at. What year, too. You know what I mean? No bullshit. And I got stuff to tell y'all about those years and experiences that I had during that, during that time, that era. But yeah, I had to address that, you know. At the end of the day, other than that, I feel like everybody is... Everything that I've been bringing back up, I guess, if you want to say I'm bringing it back up, people are saying I'm bringing it back up. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Why are you bringing it back up? It's going to be, be Well, at the end of the day, people haven't heard enough of it, obviously. There's still a lot of people out there that need to hear that side of the story. When you have so many people saying, that doesn't mean that I'm trying to instigate anything. I'm not trying to start no. Yo, bro, come on. If niggas start a war over the shit that I'm saying, come on. That's some petty shit. Any low niggas is hearing the shit that I'm saying and y'all getting in y'all feelings, y'all like, all these kid niggas is like, come on, son. Grow the fuck up. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 
condoning going to prison and becoming a gang member or becoming a gang member in the street and condoning violence. But violence plays a huge part in that culture and the life that I lived in a lot of many others that feel my pain. They know what the fuck I'm saying is not fake. They know this shit is real. How can it be? Yo, listen. I'm pretty sure any soon now. It's going to be more than a couple motherfuckers will be jumping on here. So many people verify. Like, listen. This is a movement. And it's a beautiful movement. I mean, I'm not promoting violence. I'm promoting knowledge. Food for thought. The other side of the story. Yeah, all right. The other side of the big story we told by whoever for one time. All right. They had that. You have time to... Make it an even split. At least make it more fair. More realistic. And have, you know, people still, maybe it's salty. I'm not salty. I was just disappointed. Or maybe I was a little salty. Maybe I was. Because I'm like, damn, why the fuck? This is all I'm saying. So maybe I, wa I was a little salty. I'm man enough to admit that. I guess I was a little salty. That doesn't mean you can't believe what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck I got to lie about, nigga? Like, I will get niggas my ID number right now, but I don't want niggas. Like, niggas is bitches, man. And you got trolls. I'm not a troll. That's how, I like, like, like I said, nothing but love for every bro or anybody that's taking advantage of this platform and utilizing the moment to inform the followers and the people that are listening to their side of the story. Shout out, 100%. All my twins, black and gold. Y'all already know what it is. 360 strong, baby. No games, no rules. I'm not going to be drop, beefing with no I'm not the one. I don't beef. I will respond if I hear something and I feel like, yo, I have to respond. Let me just say this, just in case. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, too. I'm really enough to admit that also. Like, this. This is real shit. But um, it's Sunday, baby. It's Sunday. Like I said, I just wanted to address that real quick. And um, on that note, tomorrow, definitely going to be posting something up new. And I'm going to be addressing a lot of the questions that was asked um, on the, in the comments. You know? And... I wish y'all a happy Sunday. I mean, I got some money on these games. I'm about to shoot out. Go take care of some business. I hope y'all have a, 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 a had a great weekend. Enjoy y'all Sunday. And y'all hear from me Monday. Nothing but love. Y'all already know. And, and, and in case y'all haven't noticed, which I'm pretty sure the ones that's already been there since they want to know, I have changed the title. And it's a reason behind that. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, that's going to be the name of this. You know what I mean? Lions and men. I feel it. If I feel it's, 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 it's right, you know? It's going to be the Lions and men only. Feel me? Everybody already know who I am. What's my name? You know, King Chulo. Bobby Steele was when... I, the Bobby Steele shit was in the mix because back in the days, I actually think I used to be able to rap. <laughs> but... It was just something that I always had, I mean, in the bag. Like, I used to always fuck with Bobby. I used to throw it up and on the walls. We used to tag. I, I used to just like the ring of that shit. Plus, I used to always stay still on me. My name was Bobby. It made sense. But um, at the end of the day, I'm like, I figured that right now we branching off. We're going to be doing bigger things. It needed something more substantial, something more official, nice little stamp. Lines and men, baby. That's what it is. Y'all already know what it is. 360 all day. Love y'all.